My name is Deirdre Nihernig. I, I was in pharmacy class of 2020. My name is Seamus. I'm from Galway. I'm a community pharmacist who studied at RCSI. My name is Sinead O'Malley. I'm from County Meath in Ireland. I graduated from the M Farm class in 2010. Hi there, my name is Neve Clifford. I'm from Clorglan, County Kerry. I graduated from the class of 2019 in pharmacy. My name is Jennifer Cummins pharmacy class of 2011. The reason I wanted to study in RCSI was that I wanted to be in a college that focused on healthcare and um, that also had a small class size and that had a diverse student population. Those things were very important to me when I was uh, choosing a college. I chose to study pharmacy at RCSI because it had the most interesting um, curriculum um, in regard to uh, clinical pharmacy and dealing with patients on a day-to-day -day basis. I was very interested in seeing what they had to offer um, and I was very, very um, impressed. I chose to study in the School of Pharmacy at RCSI because at the time it was quite a new school. It was known for being quite progressive with an excellent standard of education and I also liked the fact that it was right smart bang in the middle of Dublin. I chose to study pharmacy at the RCSI because I heard of the RCSI being a great university. It's world class in terms of educating health, medical and healthcare professional students and I also heard it's uh, great in terms of diversity in students and to work around other healthcare professionals. I chose to study pharmacy at RCSI because I really wanted a career where I got to meet people and I also wanted a career in health sciences and pharmacy merged the two. Um, I actually fell into RCSI. Um, I applied for every course on the CEO, but RCSI was the one I happened to get. Um, but it turned out to be the best um, surprise ever. So I've just finished five wonderful years in RCSI. I had the best time. Um, I really enjoyed that since our class size is very small, I really got to know everyone in my class, as well as from the corresponding years in physio and in pharmacy. We had a very good relationship with our lecturers. They uh, knew us all on a first name basis and it really helped to integrate um, in the class and to feel very, um, safe to be able to ask questions and to really learn the material. It was very uh, easy to make friends, everyone was very welcoming and it was very easy to um, get to know everyone very well. The thing I enjoyed most at RCSI was how everyone kind of felt like a family because it, class size is quite small but uh, everyone gets on very well um, and I really enjoyed um, how even the staff and everything they're really really great they help you get through everything. Um, they really help you get through any issues or problems that you have. And um, it's a lot more um, personal than some other universities. Um, so that's, uh, I think that's what I really enjoyed the most. Probably getting involved in the sports. And um, there's such a diversity of sports available. And um, met some great people through um, all the different sports that I did, hockey, tennis, running. Got to have some great trips abroad to Malta and Boston. Um, and getting involved in the societies like the surf trip and having trips with them. Um, I'd say they were my favourite memories of RCSI. It was great to work with other students who were in the medical or healthcare profession. Um, we've had lectures together at times, so it was great to be familiar with physios and doctors who you'll be working with in the future. What I enjoyed most about my experience in RCSI was the people that I met. I met my husband, um, in RCSI, he was in my class, and I've made lifelong friends that 10 years later, I'm still in contact with regularly. I also loved the, the fact that I got to try things I wouldn't have tried otherwise, um, such as debating society. Um, I got to play hockey for intervarsities, which I wouldn't got, have got to play if I had been in a bigger university. I definitely felt RCSI really helped me uh, to prepare for my future career. 
Uh, I'm currently working in the Matter Hospital in Dublin and I was fortunate enough to be uh, able to do a placement in my final year in St Luke's Hospital in Kilkenny. So I got great exposure there to uh, how pharmacists work in um, a hospital. I had experience in community pharmacy but it was great to see a different side of pharmacy. As well, when I was in college, uh, we did uh, patient-centred care labs on a Friday and this really helped me to integrate all the material, learn about new medications that we were doing during the week and also um, we did dispensing lab, it was in a dispensing lab so we got to uh, put our skills into practice with our lecturers and our colleagues and that practical experience really helped with OSCEs and also um, in the real world. I think RCSI prepared me um, for my career um, by focusing a lot on like the clinical side of pharmacy and dealing with the day-to-day -day patients. Um, there's things that I learned in second year or first year that I'm still using every day in my in my day-to-day uh, -day practice. So um, I, I, I really think that it was, a, it was a great decision. I think RCSI School of Pharmacy, as I say, the teaching was excellent and they uh, really broadened our horizons to every aspect of pharmacy and no matter what we chose to do and they really developed us as individuals and professionals um, and I think that that stood um, in great stead going forward in my career. Prepare me for my professional life, the teaching at RCSI was really excellent, the lecturers were always um, great in answering any questions you had and if you needed any more help they were always giving up their time and then in terms of having practical labs with other students and other healthcare professionals at times um, you could apply all your knowledge and you got exposed to various different aspects of clinical teaching. RCSI prepared me for my career um, by giving me a great background in pharmacy knowledge in through my degree and masters um, it also gave me the chance to experience different things such as I did my thesis through the leadership and management um, part of RCSI. This helped to start my interest in leadership and I went on to do a diploma in leadership and management. Um, it also helped to introduce me to other parts of health care that I may not have otherwise seen. So I recently just started a new position. Um, I am working as a clinical pharmacist in the Matter Hospital here in Dublin. Um, and I'm working in the clinical pharmacy department uh, doing medicines reconciliations, um, which I really like. It's great patient um, exposure and I get to work with a really broad team, including pharmacists, physios, uh, doctors, speech and language therapists and a lot. So I'm a support pharmacist um, I'm early in my career, so hopefully I'll be um, moving on to um, supervising pharmacy role. I work in Galway, um, so around the city and uh, environs, <laughs> and I, uh, I work um, day to day in community pharmacy and also online pharmacy. I'm a practice-based pharmacist, so I work in GP practices in the northeast of Scotland, so I'm an NHS employee. I work to support the GPs in delivering pharmaceutical care to all their patients and it's an essential element of their care because we have such an aging multi-morbid population here that um, having the pharmacist in the practice is brilliant. Uh, we do medication reviews with um, emphasis on polypharmacy and deep prescribing counsel patients on medicines, we review medication, patients have transfer of care. There's nothing really that doesn't come under our remit. Um, so it's really enjoyable career, really, um, really satisfying. Currently I'm in hospital pharmacy. I'm a clinical pharmacist in the National Orthopaedic Hospital in Kappa. I'm just working on a ward with patients who are in rehabilitation after having a more acute event around just working with a lot of elderly patients so it's a nice change from community pharmacy you get to apply all your clinical knowledge and also work along other healthcare professionals that I would have gone to college with so physios and doctors and applying 
your knowledge and working together with other healthcare professionals, which um, is really enjoyable. I'm currently working as a community pharmacist in a small independent community pharmacy. Uh, I love getting to meet new people all the time. However, I did start to find that after 10 years in community pharmacy, I found myself wanting to know more and wanting to branch out a little bit. So two years ago, I started a course with the Institute of Integrative Nutrition to become a health coach. And now I have my own health coaching business called Thrive Health and Wellness Coaching. And I do this as well as working part-time in community pharmacy. The biggest piece of advice I give anyone um, joining pharmacy is to keep a really open mind and really try to throw yourself into all the new activities and experiences you'll uh, come across. Um, for me, I really threw myself into new societies. I played football, even though I hadn't played football in years, and I was part of the pharmacy society and um, they have great social events. So try to go to as many social events as possible. It really helps to integrate with uh, your classmates, to make friends and also to, um, to get to know people from other years in other um, courses like physio and medicine. So that's definitely the best thing to do. And if there isn't a society that um, suits you or that is there, then just make one and you'll have a great time. Persevere and just keep going no matter how hard things can get. Um, and sometimes they will seem hard. Um, as long as you keep moving forward one step at a time, you'll eventually get to the end and get to the goal that you want. And um, so I would say just keep going. Get involved in everything that RCSI has to offer. There's such a diversity with respect to sports and cultural events. Um, make the most of the years there. It's short, it'll fly by. Make the most of Dublin. It's an awesome city, unlike any other. And enjoy. Enjoy college life. It's hard work at times, but it's definitely worth it in the end. Ask questions and don't be afraid to question things. And there's never such a thing as a silly question. So to keep working at things and you'll enjoy it and make sure to have time for yourself and to do things you enjoy when you're not working. Go after your dreams. Pharmacy is a wonderful start, but you may find, like me, that you might find you have an interest in lifestyle medicine, whatever your interest is, follow it and you never know where it will lead.